19 months of intensive work on the construction of the world's first atomic-powered vessel, USS Nautilus. I recognize this ship as the beginning of a new chapter in the history of sea power. The most powerful weapon is often the one you never hear coming. Built to move through the depths in complete silence and strike with pinpoint precision, the latest submarine from the U.S. Navy is set to become a game changer in global naval operations. In 2024, the Navy unveils its most advanced submarine yet. a true marvel of engineering. This isn't merely a technological breakthrough, it's a testament to human ingenuity and America's unwavering commitment to national security. Today, we will look at America's deadliest nuclear submarine is ready for action. The evolution of nuclear submarines. So let's talk about nuclear submarines, those big sneaky fish of the ocean. Each generation of these underwater behemoths is like leveling up in a video game, with each new version packing more cool gadgets and tricks to help them dominate the high seas. Before we continue, here's an interesting topic. At a clandestine naval facility, the cutting-edge nuclear submarine Raptor has become operational. This sophisticated vessel boasts stealth technology and a specialized hull poised to alter the geopolitical landscape. What potential tensions could compel the Raptor to take action? In what ways might it help to avert conflicts? Share your thoughts in the comments below. First generation, picture this. It's the 1950s and the world is all about Cold War vibes. Enter the first generation of nuclear subs like the USS Nautilus, the OG of underwater warfare. These bad boys were revolutionary but had one major flaw. They were as loud as a rock concert making it super easy for enemy sonar to say, hey, there's a big metal tube over there. Their fancy sonar systems were great, but let's just say they weren't winning any stealth awards. Second generation fast forward to the 60s and 70s, and we've got the second generation. Think sleek aerodynamic designs like the Soviet Union's Victor class and the US Thresher class. These subs were all about speed and agility, like the Usain Bolt of the ocean. They could maneuver better, dodge detection, and show off their cool new sonar systems and quieter engines. Talk about a glow up. Third generation. Now we're in the 80s and things are getting serious. The third gen subs like the Ohio and Los Angeles classes were like the Swiss Army knives of underwater warfare. They were bigger, tougher, and could carry a whole buffet of weapons, including missiles that could reach out and touch someone from way far away. Plus, their nuclear reactors were like the Energizer Bunny, able to run for 11 years without needing a break. This meant they could hang out in the ocean for ages, just chilling and waiting for action. Fourth generation. Zooming into the modern age, we hit the fourth generation, which are basically the superheroes of submarines. With the Virginia class on the US side and Russia's Beret class, these subs are not just versatile, they're like specialized spies on a top secret mission. They come loaded with all the latest tech, making them super stealthy and difficult to catch. And they've got cool features like water jet propulsion, which is like having a stealthy turbo boost. Safety? Oh, they've got that covered too. After some not so great incidents in the past, both the US and Russia made sure their subs came equipped with escape pods, because who wouldn't want a quick getaway, and sound absorbing coatings, making them the ninjas of the sea. The future, and what's next? Well, the fifth generation is still cooking in the labs, promising even cooler tech, stealthier moves, and more firepower. But right now it's mostly blueprints and daydreams. When they finally come out, they'll redefine underwater combat and have us saying, wait, did that sub just do a backflip? So there you have it. From noisy early models to sleek stealth machines, nuclear subs have come a long way. And the ocean better watch out because they're just getting started. The Deadly Secrets of Ohio Class and Bore Class Submarines Okay, picture this. The SSBN, which stands for Submarine Superhero of Ballistic Nuclear Awesomeness. These underwater marvels are like the stealthy ninjas of the ocean. 
designed to keep the world safe from all sorts of baddies. Think of them as the ultimate underwater hide-and-seek champions, equipped with a stash of ballistic missiles that could make a villain cry. Their main job? To give the other guys a big ol' reminder that messing with us might not be such a great idea. They're like the big, tough sibling in the family who's always ready to back you up. Just imagine, they lurk beneath the waves, ready to target important spots like military bases and major cities if things go south. One of the coolest examples of these underwater superheroes is the Ohio-class submarines used by the U.S. Navy. They're like the sports cars of the deep sea, fast, powerful, and totally ready for action. So, next time you see a sub in a movie, just remember, they might be keeping the peace while looking incredibly cool doing it. Meet the Ohio-class submarines, the big kids on the block named after the great state of Ohio. These underwater giants are like the Swiss Army knives of the ocean, huge, fancy, and packed with all kinds of cool gadgets. One of their most impressive tricks? Stealth technology. These submarines are so sneaky they could sneak up on a ninja. They're designed to be practically invisible to enemy radars, making them the ultimate oceanic spies. Imagine them cruising up to enemy shores, sipping their ocean smoothies, and nobody even knows they're there. This stealthiness is key because, in case things get a little too spicy, they can still launch a counterattack faster than you can say, Ah, oh. Now let's talk about their arsenal. These bad boys have 24 missile launch tubes that can fit the legendary Trident II ballistic missiles. Each of these missiles is like a delivery service for destruction, capable of hitting multiple targets. And they've got some serious range, over 7,000 miles! That's like firing a missile from Ohio to a beach party in Hawaii! The Trident II D5 missiles can carry some seriously heavy hitters. I'm standing in the middle of dozens of missile launch tubes. Inside them, the Trident long-range nuclear missile. Two types of warheads, the W-76 and the W-88. The W-76 is like a giant firecracker, packing a punch equivalent to 100 kilotons of TNT, yikes! But the W-88? Now that's the big kahuna at 475 kilotons, making it one of the most powerful warheads ever. Think of it as the ultimate fireworks display, but one you definitely don't want to see. When fully loaded, these missiles can carry a whopping 8 W88 warheads or 14 W76 warheads. And while they're underwater, they can strike with the precision of a sharpshooter, reaching speeds of up to 46 kilometers per hour. That's like a torpedo on turbo. And here's the kicker. Out of those 24 launch tubes, 22 have been modified to fire Tomahawk cruise missiles too. Each tube can hold up to seven Tomahawks, meaning they can unleash 154 of these bad boys in a flash, like a magician pulling endless rabbits out of a hat. Plus, they can launch those Tomahawks from underwater in just six minutes. Talk about a quick response. So, whether they're stealthily lurking or launching missiles, Ohio-class submarines are the ultimate underwater multitaskers, ready to keep the peace and save the day. Let's dive back into the world of submarines, shall we? The Ohio-class isn't just about stealth and firepower. They've got some cool tricks up their sleeves. Meet the Ohio SSGN, the multitasking superstar of the ocean. These submarines have been given a makeover, transforming them into versatile underwater warriors. Imagine this. They've even turned two of their missile launch tubes into secret underwater doors. Why? Because they can deploy over 60 Navy SEALs for top secret missions. It's like a covert ocean party, and you've got the coolest invite. But wait, there's more! These submarines can also launch unmanned underwater vehicles, like high-tech spies and sonar boys. They're basically the James Bond of submarines, ready for action with all the latest gadgets. Now let's swim over to Russia and check out the Bore-class submarines. Think of them as the new kids on the block, built to be super stealthy and advanced. They're like the sleek, mysterious ninja submarines of the modern Navy. These underwater marvels can operate quietly thanks to some fancy noise reduction technology. It's like they've got noise-canceling headphones for the ocean, making it super hard for enemies to hear them coming. What's even cooler? They can zip around at high speeds without sounding like a traditional submarine. No loud chugging noises here. They've got cutting-edge jet propulsion systems, which help them slice through the water like a hot knife through butter. And if you thought that was impressive, hold on to your diving gear. The Bore class can dive deeper than most submarines, making them harder to track. It's like they've got their own underwater hide-and-seek championship going on. 
Plus, with advanced maneuvering systems, they can pull off some slick moves to dodge any potential threats. So, whether it's the Ohio SSGN launching Navy SEALs or the Bore class doing underwater acrobatics, these submarines are making waves in the naval world. And they're definitely not just floating around aimlessly. Let's dive back into the underwater world with the Bore class submarines, the rock stars of the Russian Navy. These beauties are equipped with some seriously advanced weapon control systems and a lineup of long-range ballistic missiles, including the super-cool Bulava missile. Think of the Bore class as the ultimate bouncers for Russia's nuclear deterrent strategy, ready to party hard if things get wild. These submarines are like the Ferraris of the ocean, boasting the latest in naval tech. Their vertical rudders come with fancy sonar arrays, which are like super-sensitive ears for listening to everything happening in the deep blue. Some versions even have a special bulge along their hull, like a little secret compartment that houses a side sonar array. This design not only makes them stealthy, like a cat sneaking up on a mouse, but also helps them keep an eye on underwater happenings from all directions. Good luck sneaking past these guys. Now let's talk firepower. The Beret class is armed with 16 Balava ballistic missiles. These aren't just any missiles, they're like the superhero version of the Topol M intercontinental ballistic missile, able to hit targets over 8,300 kilometers away. Basically, they could send a message from Russia to the other side of the world without breaking a sweat. Each Bulava missile can carry between 6 and 10 nuclear warheads, which could explode with the force of 100 to 150 kilotons of TNT. Yikes. But wait, there's more. They can also be equipped with decoy warheads designed to confuse enemy missile defenses, like throwing a bunch of fake rocks to distract a dog. Plus, these submarines have 533mm torpedo tubes that can launch various underwater weapons, including advanced torpedoes and missiles. They're not just fast. They can reach speeds of up to 29 knots, making them the speedy cheetahs of underwater combat. Compared to big land armies, the Beret-class subs are like the ninjas of the sea, silently lurking thousands of kilometers from shore. With their stealthy moves and impressive weaponry, they can stay hidden while striking from a distance. And no matter the weather, these submarines are designed to handle extreme underwater conditions like a champ. So whether they're lurking in the depths or launching missiles, the Beret-class submarines are a formidable force in the modern naval fleet making waves in the underwater world. The Seawolf's Dominance Now let's meet the second type of nuclear submarine, the SSN, or as I like to call it, the Super Sneaky Ninja Submarine. These multi-purpose subs are the Swiss Army Knives of the Ocean, known for their versatility and impressive firepower. They come packed with advanced cruise missiles and torpedoes, making them ready to tackle all sorts of naval missions. One standout member of this cool crew is the American Sea Wolf class submarine. Think of it as the superhero of submarines. The Sea Wolf is so powerful it could give King Kong a run for his money. This beauty can carry up to 50 cruise missiles, including the Harpoon missile, which is perfect for taking out ships, and the Tomahawk missile, famous for its precision strikes on land targets. And speed, the Sea Wolf can zip along at a whopping 64 kilometers per hour, while submerged like a fish on steroids. Thanks to its cutting-edge propulsion technology, this submarine is practically a torpedo with a mission. But here's the catch. All this awesomeness comes with a hefty price tag, around $4.3 billion for each sub. That's like buying a mansion underwater. The high cost comes from its fancy tech, including a super quiet propulsion system, advanced sonar to detect anything lurking nearby, and a robust nuclear reactor to keep it powered up. Because of this eye-watering price, only three Seawolf-class submarines have been built, and they're currently the envy of the United States Navy. So, whether they're stealthily slipping through the waves or preparing to launch some serious firepower, the Seawolf-class submarines are the ultimate underwater warriors, ready to save the day. Let's talk about the Virginia-class submarines, the rock stars of the U.S. submarine fleet. You'll see these babies cruising around much more often than their fancier cousins. They're like the reliable family sedan of the underwater world, designed to handle all sorts of missions, from hunting down enemy subs to gathering intelligence like a secret agent. 
These submarines can carry anywhere from 12 to 24 Tomahawk cruise missiles, depending on the model and what kind of trouble they're getting into. And they're pretty speedy too, reaching up to 63 kilometers per hour while underwater. That's faster than a cheetah chasing its lunch. Now, here's the cool part. Thanks to their advanced nuclear propulsion systems, these submarines don't have to surface all the time to recharge their batteries like those old diesel electric subs. Nope, they can stay underwater for months at a time. Imagine being able to hold your breath for that long. With their nuclear reactors, they have a practically endless supply of power, which means they can travel thousands of miles without needing a pit stop for fuel. This tech upgrade has made nuclear submarines superstars when it comes to operational freedom. They can hang out in remote and hostile waters without needing much support, making them essential players in military strategy. Their stealthy ways and impressive endurance have really changed the game in naval tactics and global power dynamics. It's like switching from a bicycle to a rocket ship. So, whether they're lurking in the deep or gearing up for a mission, the Virginia-class submarines are a vital part of keeping things safe and sound under the waves. The United States and the United Kingdom have totally ditched their diesel-electric submarines and gone all-in on nuclear-powered submarines. It's like swapping your old clunker for a shiny new sports car. This switch highlights some serious advantages of nuclear propulsion, like being able to stay out on patrol for ages and flexing some impressive deterrence muscles. Now, only a handful of countries can pull off the whole nuclear submarine thing. We're talking about heavyweights like the United States, Russia, France, the United Kingdom, and China. Each of these nations operates a fleet of nuclear submarines that play a big role in keeping their national security in check. For instance, France and the UK use their nuclear subs as part of their strategic defense plans, while China has been stepping up its game and rapidly boosting its capabilities. But what's the secret sauce behind these underwater powerhouses? It's all about the nuclear reactor. This fancy piece of tech is the heart of the submarine, allowing it to operate smoothly. A nuclear reactor works by splitting atomic nuclei in a process called nuclear fission creating heat that's turned into electricity. It's like how traditional power plants use fire to generate energy, but without the need for constant refueling. Thanks to their atomic fuel, these submarines can run for about 20 years without needing a pit stop. That's like having a super-powered coffee machine that keeps brewing without ever needing to be plugged in. This ability is a game-changer during conflicts, providing a strategic advantage because they can stay out there doing their thing without interruption. Nuclear submarines have been in the works since the 1940s, with their first tests happening in 1953. That was a huge leap forward in naval technology, like going from a horse and buggy to a rocket ship. So whether they're lurking beneath the waves or patrolling the oceans, nuclear submarines are the true hidden power of the sea, ready to keep things secure. Let's dive back to 1955 when the US Navy launched the Nautilus, the first ever submarine powered by nuclear energy. This was a game changer, like the first smartphone for the underwater world, kicking off a whole new era in naval tech. Shortly after, the Navy was on a roll, creating some amazing ships like the USS Long Beach, which was basically a fancy cruiser, and the USS Enterprise, the superstar aircraft carrier that made waves. Pun intended. By the end of 1962, there were 30 nuclear submarines either in the works or already doing their thing under the sea. And then came the Cold War, where submarine production went into overdrive. Over 400 nuclear-powered submarines were either cruising the oceans or under construction by 1989. That's a lot of underwater traffic. Today, around 150 of these high-tech subs are still on active duty, keeping watch beneath the waves. One of the coolest reactors out there is the SE-6W, found in the Sea Wolf-class submarines. This reactor is like the sports car of nuclear power, equipped with dual steam turbines that make it super advanced. It can generate a jaw-dropping 300,000 horsepower in thermal output and 57,000 horsepower in shaft power. It runs mostly on natural circulation, so it can go full throttle without needing coolant pumps, making it both efficient and super quiet. Imagine a ninja submarine gliding through the ocean without making a sound. But let's not forget the history. It's a bit of a mixed bag. Throughout the nuclear fleet's journey, eight submarines have tragically sunk, two from Russia, four from the Soviet Union, and two from the United States. 
One of the most infamous disasters was the loss of the USS Thresher during deep sea drills. Definitely a moment that still sends shivers through naval history. In the Russian Navy, the K-8 submarine is notorious for its loss due to a catastrophic failure with an experimental torpedo. Talk about a bad day at sea. This incident really highlights the risks that come with naval warfare tech. Plus, some submarines have sunk because of issues with their propulsion systems, whether due to engine problems or other mechanical hiccups. So, while nuclear submarines are amazing feats of engineering, their history reminds us that even the coolest tech comes with its own set of challenges and adventures, like an underwater roller coaster ride with a few unexpected drops. The Battle of Submarine Designs when it comes to design, American and Russian submarines have some pretty interesting differences, like two different styles of pizza. American submarines usually rock a single hull design. Think of it as a sturdy, reliable fortress that can handle the intense pressure of deep underwater missions. It's like building a really strong brick house that can withstand a hurricane. On the flip side, Russian submarines often feature a double hull design. This means they have a tough outer hull for protection and a lighter, streamlined inner hull to help them zip through the water like a sleek sports car. For example, take the Russian submarines from Project 949A, like the KSK model, they've got about 3.5 meters of space between those two hulls. That's some serious room for activities or maybe just extra snacks for the crew. Now, here's the scoop. Submarines with double hulls are generally believed to be better at surviving rough conditions. It's like having a double layer of protection, ideal for those stormy seas. On the other hand, single-hull submarines, while lighter and faster, might be a bit more vulnerable. But guess what? There's a trend happening! Newer nuclear submarines are leaning towards single-hull designs. Why? Well, recent advancements in steel technology have made these single hulls much more durable and reliable. It's like upgrading from a bicycle to a mountain bike. Better performance without the added weight. So, whether it's the American single hull or the Russian double hull, both designs have their strengths. It's all about finding the right balance between speed, safety, and style under the sea. American submarines typically have between four and nine compartments inside their hulls, kind of like different rooms in a really high-tech underwater mansion. The Ohio-class submarines, which are a big deal in the nuclear subworld, have four compartments that balance safety and efficiency like a well-tuned tightrope walker. Now here's where it gets interesting. The second compartment is the star of the show because it houses 24 missile silo launchers. These launchers reach all the way to the top of the compartment, and they're covered by a super strong lid that's operated by hydraulic pressure. Imagine it as a super secure trapdoor that keeps everything locked down tight. This lid is as tough as the rest of the submarine and is essential for sealing the missile shaft, making sure no water sneaks in for an unexpected swim. When it's time to launch a missile, this lid opens, revealing a starting cup inside the shaft. But wait, there's a cool trick here. The starting cup is covered by a special membrane that keeps water out. This membrane is made from phenolic resin reinforced with fiberglass, and it's shaped like a dome. Think of it as the submarine's version of a protective cap. When it's time to fire up those missiles, explosive charges do their thing and shatter the membrane into a bunch of pieces. Picture a piñata bursting open with one central part and lots of smaller sections flying off to the sides. Boom! Just like that, the missile is ready to make a splash, figuratively of course, and take off into the skies. So, with compartments and clever designs like these, American submarines are not just floating steel tubes, they're high-tech marvels of engineering ready for action beneath the waves. These submarines are equipped with the fancy MK-98 fire control system, which means they can prep all their missiles for launch in less than 15 minutes. That's faster than most people can make a cup of coffee. In fact, they can fire all their missiles in just one minute. Talk about being ready for action. The MK-98 system is like the submarine's personal assistant. It handles all the important tasks like crunching numbers for firing data, checking everything to make sure it's launch ready, and even retargeting all missiles at the same time before launch. That's right, no need for one at a time updates here. Before a missile blasts off, the system generates some serious overpressure in the missile silo using a powder pressure accumulator. This is like pumping up a balloon before letting it fly. When the missile enters the launch tube, burning gunpowder creates gas that cools down a bit as it passes through a water chamber. 
Then, that gas gives the rocket a boost, launching it with an acceleration of about 10 g. As it zooms out of the silo, it reaches speeds of about 50 ms. Talk about a speedy exit. Once the rocket is on its way, the shaft's cover snaps shut to keep the submarine stable at a perfect depth. Water from the shaft gets moved to a special replacement tank, and the submarine's gyroscopic stabilizers do their magic to keep everything balanced. Oh, and they can launch missiles every 15 to 20 seconds, even from depths of up to 30 meters, and they can do this while cruising at 5 knots and in rough seas with waves up to 6 points. Now that's some serious underwater prowess. The Trident missiles, which are famous for their pinpoint accuracy, can hit tough targets like missile silos and deep command posts. Ohio-class submarines are not just efficient but also cost-effective, playing a crucial role in the U.S. nuclear triad. They handle a hefty share of the nation's nuclear arsenal, deploying 16 out of a whopping 3,493 warheads, about 60% of the total. Unlike traditional launch silos, these warheads are deployed using universal launching devices with drum magazines. This means they can launch torpedoes, cruise missiles, and even surface-to-surface -surface missiles. With their nuclear reactors, Ohio-class submarines can stay operational for a long time, up to six months on an autonomous journey or solo voyage. Most modern nuclear subs can hang out underwater for about three months without needing to resurface. But here's the kicker. It's not the air that's the biggest challenge on these long missions. It's keeping the crew happy. With about 150 to 160 crew members living in close quarters for so long, the psychological toll can be tough. It's like a never-ending road trip with your family in a compact car. As we look to the future, there's buzz about developing fifth-generation submarines, which promise even more advanced features. So, the adventure under the sea continues. U.S. Navy Submarine Supremacy So let's talk submarines and military tech. It's like a real-life game of who can build the coolest underwater gadgets. The United States Air Force is flexing its muscles, pulling ahead of Russia in the submarine tech race. While Russia is busy cooking up some fancy submarines with modular reactors that supposedly never need maintenance for 50 years, I mean, where do I sign up for that? The American Seawolf-class submarines have already checked off all the major boxes on that tech wish list. These Seawolf subs come with a reactor system that's all about redundancy. Basically, if one system takes a nap, another one steps in to keep things running smoothly. They use a water hammer, no, not that kind of hammer, controlled by a secondary electric motor when cruising around. And when do they want to speed things up? The reactor turbine kicks in and zoom. But wait, it gets even cooler. The Seawolf submarines are expected to integrate fully automated control systems, which means the crew can chill in a single super safe module without constantly running around between compartments. Talk about making life easier down below the waves. And hold on to your hats because these stealthy underwater warriors will be equipped with hypersonic missiles. Yes, you heard that right. Missiles that move faster than a speeding bullet. On the flip side, let's check out Russia's shiny new toy, the Poseidon 2M39, nicknamed Canyon by NATO. This advanced torpedo is like a nuclear-powered beast, boasting a nuclear warhead that could wreak havoc along coastlines. It's about the size of a small whale, length ranging from 16 to 24 meters, and weighing in at a hefty 100 tons. But here's the kicker. While it can dive deep, up to 1,000 meters, and speed along at 130 kilometers per hour, its travel time is a real snooze fest. We're talking days to hit its target. Many experts are raising eyebrows, arguing that the Poseidon might not be as effective as traditional nuclear missiles, which are faster, more precise, and can deliver powerful strikes in a snap. With all that in mind, there's buzz that Russia, especially under post-Putin leadership, might rethink their plans for Poseidon and focus on playing nice with Western nations instead. With unmatched stealth and strategic power, this vessel represents more than just military might. It embodies America's unwavering commitment to national defense and global stability. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.